today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you today, Chris? I'm great, Tracy. How about you? Chris, we are huge fans of eResearch, and you just did an update on EQ Inc. and your buy and rating, your, your target price is the same. Is that correct? That is correct, Tracy. Okay, so let's hit the ground running. I tell you, <laughs> the more I, I read about EQ Inc., um, the more intriguing this particular company co becomes to me. So why don't we start with the revenue and some of the compelling fundamentals that are making you like the stock so much? Yeah, for uh, the, the quarter that just came in, the revenue was around $3 million, which is what I anticipated. Um, and we're booking revenue this year around $13 million, but really what we're looking for the growth from this year to next year to go from about 13 to about $22 million. Um, the company itself has sort of been, been in a holding pattern because it focuses on consumer data and geolocation data that helps retailers track customers and obviously um, tra sorry, track and, and target customers. Um, and so, you know, during this COVID time, it's been very challenging them for them to get their customers to spend money on this technology when we've been on lockdown so many times. But I see that, uh, you know, taking off over the next year as things ease up uh, and companies really then need to find, you know, their customers again. They need to, there's been a change in pattern of, cons of consumption and companies like EQ are going to be very important for these retailers to use to figure out how to get back their customers and get them back into their stores. Who is the genius behind this company? You know, I'll tell you, they not only have, do they quickly identify uh, challenges, they find solutions. You know, for instance, they've acquired this PayMe, uh, which has opened a new line of revenue for them. So I'd like to know a little bit more just about the CEO, perhaps, or the founders, and, uh, and this pay me acquisition just looks fascinating to me, Chris. Yeah, so you know, Jeff Rostein is uh, the CEO of the company and, and is very focused uh, you know, in the data space. And, and uh, the, it, the company emerged from a, and the ad technology business line uh, where they saw that the, the real key to their business for ad technology was looking at the data, the geolocation data, the customer tracking data, the customer intelligence data. So it was his, his vision to start focusing more on that line uh, where there is a higher value. And so what they've been doing over the last couple of years is that uh, you know, the majority of the revenue is still from you know, the ad tech space, but they're, they're uh, making more and more money from the data side of the business. And so what he's been doing is very targeted acquisitions. And the latest one he did was with, as you mentioned, was this pay me acquisition which is, um, the, you know, they're like a customer loyalty, credit card loyalty program where uh, consumers get cash back for making purchases. So again, this adds into their database of, of information that they have that they use. Currently, they have over a petabyte of geolocation and, and uh, consumer uh, retail data. And this is just another avenue. It also opens another business line for them to go after the, the, what we call the B2C, the business to consumer market, as well as sign up more merchants uh, on this platform. So they see a growth in this revenue line as well over the next year or so. And you know, Chris, I, I don't think people appreciate how unique the e-research model is. I mean, you actually have a model that you utilize for assessing the fundamentals of a company and then determining whether or not you should buy this or not. Is that correct? Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so for each of the companies that I look at, I try to do a couple of different valuation models to allow people uh, to look at my calculations and, and make their own decisions. In this case, I look at both a revenue model as well as a five-year discounted cash flow or a DCF model. And you can look at all of my calculations from revenue assumptions and expense assumptions to see how I believe they're going to drive some good EBITDA over the next five years out of this business line. You know, this is a data business. So, you know, it can be a very high margin type of business. And you can look at my calculation to derive my valuation. In this case, I look at a revenue model and a DCF model, and they both sort of come out around the $2.65 range uh, for this stock. You know, currently trading around, you know, $1.35, $1.40, depending on what day it is. And of course, if I want to get uh, updates on EQ Inc. from eResearch, do I go to your website to... 
get an email update or a text message? How does that work, Chris? Yeah, you can go to e eresearch.com and you can either go to the, the specific company information for EQ and that you can download the historical articles and reports that I've written, as well as you can sign up for our free newsletter uh, and you can get regular updates when we issue update reports. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us today, but I would like to extend a complimentary offer to EQ Inc. to do an investor talk with Investor Intel so we can ask them more questions about your latest research report update. Great. I'll let them know. Thank you.